My name is Abu Bakr and today I am going to demonstrate to you the second law of thermodynamics. And what does the second law of thermodynamics have to say? It says that the total entropy of the universe will always tend to increase. So what is entropy? Entropy is the measure of disorder in the structure of a microscopic object. For example, this is a cup. It has some entropy. It has some randomness. And what if I break the glass? The entropy will increase. So you can see that the randomness has increased, the entropy of the system has increased. So the glass example was just a model to describe entropy. Entropy is actually the sum of randomness of all quantum states, of all the microstates in the structure of a microscopic object. So entropy is found by calculating the, the randomness of all the quantum states, all the microstates in a microscopic object is the sum of the randomness of quantum states or the microstates in an object. So will the entropy of the system always increase? The answer is no. It can increase or it can decrease. Will the entropy of surrounding always increase? No. It can increase or it can decrease. But one thing is for sure, the entropy of the universe will always increase. For example, here I have an ice. Uh, when it melts, it takes the energy from the surrounding. So when the ice is melting from solid into liquid, the entropy or the disorder in the molecules of ice are increasing. And what about surrounding? Surrounding is giving heat, it is losing heat. So it is losing its kinetic energy and the entropy of the surrounding is decreasing. But the fascinating thing is that the entropy of the universe is always increasing. Why is that happening? We are going to do a thought experiment that is going to explore that. So now we have to imagine these dices as the quantum states. Each quantum state has its own angular momentum, each has its own spin, each has its own orientation and that is really specific. So whatever we do with these dices, we are more likely to uh, jump into a state that is more random than before. So, it's obvious that if I do something with these dices, you can see the angular spin, the angular momentum, it, it will change. The more I play with the dices, the more the randomness will increase, the more the, the orientation, the more the quantum states, they, they will have more uh, number of orientations, more microstates, and the entropy will increase. Uh, but the question is, how does that explain why uh, when we turn a liquid into a solid, for example, if we turn water into ice, even then the entropy increase, it should decrease. The answer to this is that well, when I am uh, freezing the water, I will take one quantum state from here, 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 and this will lead to this order. You can see that there are many possible orientations. Whenever I freeze the water, I will take one quantum state like this, one from here, 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 and I will join all them to make ice. Even then, the randomness will increase. The total randomness of the universe will always increase. It cannot decrease. It will always increase. And that is the second law of thermodynamics. So, Earth has a specific quantum states. The universe has a specific quantum states. And whenever we play with those quantum states, by playing, I mean whenever we do anything with those quantum states, we actually increase the number of possible orientations. So therefore the entropy of the universe increases. And so that was second law of thermodynamics. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.